Well, today I'm doing a quick review of the VQ Models JU-52, affectionately known as Aunt Ju. And it's a 63-inch wingspan. It's got three E-Flight motors in it. It runs off a single three-cell battery pack. Uh, it's got flaps. It's not bad. It's not quite accurate on the flaps and ailerons to a real one, but that's probably pretty tricky to do in such a small plane. This is a really neat model, the tri-motor from uh, early 30s era, German design. Started out as a sort of an airliner, uh, and it became one of the mainstays of uh, Hitler's Nazi Germany as a troop transport and cargo plane and whatever else they wanted to do with it. So uh, it's a classic design, very unique, uh, simulated corrugated metal. Uh, it's, it's sort of a, a crossover between early 30s and, and early tw and 20s era design, so it's kind of a little bit cumbersome looking, but it was basically the DC-3 of, of Nazi Germany. And I was real lucky that I was able to acquire this from a local club member who's moving out of town. He offered me a great deal on it, and it was just something I couldn't pass up. A tri-motor, I never had a, uh, a, a plane like this, so I thought it'd be neat to, to fly and just see how it worked out. So uh, let's see how it flies. Hey, you don't let me down, Aunt Jew. Two is twice the fun, is three triple the fun? Let's find out. Three's a company? Well, three motors account for something. A little bit of crosswind, or maybe a little too much something. Oh! <laughs> Pull to the left. Let's do crossway. For attempt two, I held in a little bit more right rudder. There we go. Success, but she was fighting me a bit. Huh, it's up. It's flying, it feels a little funky. Not quite sure what to make of it. it has a lot of lift though, that was without flaps. So, Let's see if I can get the trim settled in. Plenty of power. I mean, it's flying around half throttle, third throttle. I was, however, a bit concerned about the CG. All right, we'll try to stall. Power off. Stalling it would give me a good indication of how good the balance was. Got a good glide. Let's get some elevator. More elevator. Whoa, it dropped the wing. Yeah, I need a little more nose weight. It's on the CG, but I think it'll like a little more nose weight. That said, with three motors turning in the same direction, I think it's got a lot of torque on takeoff. So interesting enough, that's how the real one was. Just to be sure, I decided to land for more nose weight. Ooh, a little bit of wind bump. Ooh, nice touchdown now. Ooh. It's got a big battery in the nose, but I don't think that was quite enough for more comfortable flying. Since there wasn't much room inside, I elected to add weight just under the center motor. Crude, but effective. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. We've added about an ounce and a half of nose weight. Hopefully this will move better. <laughs> this time it did seem to handle a little bit better. It seems a little better. But would it make any difference in the stall? Little ailerons. Definitely responsive. All right, let's go up, try to stall test again. All right, back to idle. Pull some up elevator, up, 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 up. Up, oh, that right wing still dips, but it recovers quickly. Yes, the wing dip was less pronounced, but not eliminated. All right, try a low pass here. That said, I did feel it was good enough to fly as is for the time being. Mm. 
Yes. The model is surprisingly quick. It cooks a roll out of it. <laughs> hey, it actually rolls pretty good. What a loop. It'll loop. You got easy on the elevator, it'll snap on you. Try stall turn. Now the rudder is not all that effective. Try something. Here I try an aggressive movement of the elevator, which she did not like. Yep, it'll snap on you if you pull too much elevator. She's easy on the elevator. <laughs> then I remembered the flaps. Oh, I didn't even try with the flaps. Alright, pull the little flaps, about half flap. It's all back. Would flaps improve slow speed handling? It's about half flap. Let's see what it does. Pull up elevator. Oh, it's actually better behave with the flaps. Yes, I'm guessing the flaps simulate extra washout. But you still have to be careful. Whoa! <laughs> that was a butt clincher. Stalled it. It will drop a wing on you. Keep it flight on the wing. Okay, half flaps again. See if we can bring it in for a landing. Nice. This Aunt Ju is a bit of a sassy lady. She looks fine, and I can even forgive the shortcuts taken on the flaps and ailerons, but I'll have to admit that I'm a bit unimpressed with this model. The structure is too heavy in the tail, requiring nose weight even with a large 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Plus the, the three motors all spinning in the same direction causes a tremendous amount of P factor, requiring a lot of rudder input on a takeoff and a noticeable side slip until the speed builds up. It's not a bad model, but it takes a higher level of piloting skill than one would think for this type of model. You really have to fly it on the wing and have a light touch on the elevator. Ideally, I could have added even more nose weight, but the weight I added was already affecting the climb performance negatively. I was hoping to have a neat transport plane that I could even use with top gliders, but in the end, I just wouldn't be that comfortable doing anything other than flying basic circuits with it.